Big interview, Cleo? Sorry we can't go with you, Cleo. Really sorry. It's just that we... Yeah, I know. You promised to go with Emma to her swimming training. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it, girls. I'll be with her. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. My hands are all clammy from the stress. Listen, just be yourself. Believe in yourself. Thanks for coming with me, Louis. Oh, You're a real oh. friend. Mm. And when I'm older, I'd like to work in environmental protection. Mm -hmm. And volunteering here would be an excellent experience for me. Good. Well, your interests seem like a pretty good match. And now, Jeff's gonna ask you a few questions to assess your knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, Cleo, you know that the Dolphin City Bay is a natural reserve. Can you name six species of fish that live in the bay? Uh, sure, uh, there's sardines and halibut, mackerel, and herring. That's good, but can you name some of the species that are slightly more exotic? Exotic species? Uh, you're right, uh, fish. Well, I'm not really... I don't... So? Disaster. I knew the answers, but I panicked. I suddenly felt like I had a black hole instead of a brain. I blew it. They'll never take me now. Don't lose faith, Cleo. We all know you're the best. <laughs> Please, Mr. Lambert, give her another chance. Mm. She panicked because it was so important to her. That's all. It was just a few simple questions. If she panics that easily, how's she going to react to a bunch of tourists bombarding her with questions? Yeah, well, actually, she was sick that day. She should have cancelled, but she decided to go to the interview all the same without mentioning it. You're not going to penalize her for that, are you? Hmm. Hello? Yes? Uh-huh. Uh, I see ya. Yes, of course. Thanks. Ah! That was Mr. Lambert. He offered me another interview in three days. Fantastic! That's great! You see? I told you, Cleo. Now you just have to go in there and show them how brilliant you really are. Oh, what if I blow it again? I've got to study. You already know all that stuff, Cleo. You just need to believe in yourself, and you need to stop worrying and relax. You're right. So, what do you suggest? Well, uh... Skin diving! And out of Mako Island as well! If you guys weren't coming with me, there's no way I'd ever do something like this! Mako Island also has an incredible number of exotic underwater species! You'll learn more out here than from a stack of books! And here we are! <laughs> so, ready for an adventure?
time, Cleo? You bet! like that, I'll never have a mental blank again. I'll never forget anything I saw. Well, we should probably think about heading back to port if we're going to make it before sunset. It's no use. The motor's flooded. I'll call my father. He'll be able to come get us in the Coast Guard boat. Good idea, because we're sure not going anywhere in this thing. Snap! I can't get a signal. Hmm. Me neither. This island's too far from anywhere. There's no network. Well then, it looks like we're gonna have to spend the night here. What? Sleeping outside? But, uh, are there any wild animals? And what about our parents? They'll be worried sick. Well, I'm not saying we won't get in trouble for it tomorrow, but unless you have a better suggestion... I don't believe this! It sounds like he swallowed an airplane motor! Hmm? <gasps> Look over there! That light! You think there could be somebody there? Shouldn't we tell Lewis where we're going? No, may as well let him sleep. Besides, we don't always need boys to help. We can take care of ourselves. in the dark. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen enough for one night. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Ow! Ah! 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 Oh, I don't believe it. Looks like we're gonna have to find another way out. The pool must be linked to the sea. We could get out by swimming underwater. girls, but I don't think I can make it. We've got no choice. Nobody knows where we are. If we stay here, they'll never find us. Listen, I'll go first and have a look. Then I'll come back and get you, okay? I can do 30 meters underwater in training. Piece of cake. Oh, God! 
gosh! I can feel my... My legs! They're back! Huh? Unbelievable! Mine too! Same here! Well, that's certainly a relief. Listen up. We can't talk about this to anyone, and especially not our parents, got it? Well, on the bright side, at least someone's come to rescue us. Yeah, well, I don't think I'll be around long to enjoy it. Can you imagine if Lewis's mother hadn't known where you were, how would we have been able to find you? We couldn't have known that Lewis's boat would break down. That isn't the issue, Cleo. You should have told us beforehand. It's hardly acting responsibly, right, Mom? Kim, do you mind? No one asked for your opinion. Oh. <sighs> I promise, Mom. It's the last time I go out to sea without warning you. Hmm. Hey, Emma, can you take me with you next time? Elliot, absolutely not, young man. Dinner will be ready in five minutes. Uh. Elliot, can you close the door, please? Okay, I've got to head off to work, but I haven't finished with you. We'll but... discuss your punishment tonight when I'm back. <gasps> hmm? Hey, Ricky, what's new? <laughs> I hope your clothes were dry. Dang, you're going to pay for that. <laughs> oh, no, it can't be. It's happening again. Uh, 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 uh. Oh! gotten into her. So every time we touch water, we transform into a mermaid? And water's pretty much everywhere. What are we going to do? And what about my dream of being a championship swimmer? It's all over. You always say science has an answer for everything. Well, now's a good time to prove it. Find us a solution, Mr. Genius. But what do I know about mermaids? And up until today, I didn't even believe in them. So it might just be that you're all just fine and I'm hallucinating. Lewis, you're the only one who can help us. Because not only are you really a genius, but you, you're the only one who knows our secret. Okay, Cleo. I'll get to work on it. All right, listen up. Nobody can ever know. Nobody. Or they'd stick you in a laboratory and do all kinds of experiments on you. But if we transform every time we touch water, everybody in town will know about us in two days. Hold on. First off, we're not certain you transform every time. We have to assess it scientifically, do some tests. Tests? What do you mean, tests? What kind of tests? Well, we have to reproduce your transformation under the same conditions as earlier, at home. And how are we going to do that? Like this! Ah! 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 Wow! Did you see that? It's like... She's got some kind of magic power. So, to sum up then, apparently Cleo can control water to give it whatever form she wants. Ricky, you can make it boil, and you, Emma, it seems you can freeze it. It's all very well having superpowers, but so what if I can turn an Olympic pool into a skating rink? How's that supposed to help me? Not to mention that for now, we still haven't a clue what's happened to us. There's only one solution. We've got to return to Mako Island. That's where it all started. Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that before? The grotto where you first transformed. There has to be something special in the water. Okay, you bring me back a sample and then I can analyze it. Okay, but I'm not so sure magic will show up under a microscope. It's so strange to be breathing underwater. It feels like the oxygen is liquid. Well, I love it. It's the coolest thing I've ever done. And wow, look how fast I can swim. <laughs> Woohoo! It's crazy. Can you imagine if I could do this in a pool? I could break every record. <laughs> Hi there. Who are you? <gasps> Yoo-ho, I'm over oh, here. Yoo-ho. You can talk. You're a fish, and you can talk. You're funny. My name's Ziggy. You're new around here, aren't you? If you'd like, I can give you a guided tour. So let me introduce the 
school of sardines, the seahorses, Marcel the grouper, the jellyfish is Carlotta, and the twin dolphins are Robbie and Bobby. I'm sure you've already heard of us, no? We're the biggest stars in the bay. But don't be too awestruck. We may be stars, but we're not stuck up. What species are you? Let me guess. Common dolphins. Are you kidding? Come on, we're spinner dolphins. And we're way leaner and more muscular than those pathetic little common dolphins. <laughs> uh, say girls, didn't we have something urgent to do? Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. We have to get going. But we'll come back and see you soon. Promise. Bye-bye. <laughs> I was sure it was this way, but Emma, we've already passed this coral before. Hmm? Hey, look over there. It's that little hermit crab we saved. Oh, come on, come on. Faster, Zeta. Let's go faster. It looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> oh, I recognize them. They were at Mako Island. Someone ought to stop those bullies. Come on, girls. Let's go. Hang on! That's a hammerhead shark, Ricky! <laughs> Where'd they go? There! Oh, don't be scared, Dan. Stop! <laughs> Leave them alone! <laughs> Who are you? And what are you? We're mermaids! And don't even think about hurting those two! Go pick on somebody your own size! Hey, boss! Burke think that mermaids need to learn! Some better. Yeah, you can't talk to us like that. Yeah. <laughs> Our powers. Quick. Oh, nice try. Oops, you missed. <laughs> Why don't you do <laughs> <have> to aim? <laughs> no can see. Okay, now. <laughs> Quick, let's go. Right, you are. Oh, thanks. Lucky you were there. They get their kicks picking on us. Oh, by the way, I'm Bernie, and she's Zeta. We already met, don't you remember? On the beach? You'd lost your shell. Oh, yes, of course. You saved my life, in fact. So I guess that makes it twice now. But, but you were different. Uh, yes, we've changed a bit. We've been this way since we went to Mako Island. We're trying to get back there, but we got lost. Well, well, I'll take you there. Come on, Zeta, let's go. We're off to Mako Island. Uh. Oh, the vandals. They found us again. That way, I recognize it. Quick. Phew. Okay, I don't think they saw which way we went. Bernie? Zeta, we need you to watch the entrance to the cave. Okay, will do. I don't see anything special. It's just a plain old cave. A dime a dozen. Yeah, but remember what Lewis said. It might be something in the water. You think he'll find mermaid molecules in it? Can't we head back? This place gives me the creeps. The last time, the full moon, it had a magical feel to it. But right now, it's just really gloomy. Maybe it was the full moon. What? You really think that it might be because of the full moon that this happened? So, did you find anything? No, nothing at all. Then follow me. I know someone who might be able to help you. Here we are. Hey, Sue, are you home? Yes. <gasps> Sue, I've brought you three, three mermaids. Yes, I know. Hello, we're... Looking for answers. I know that, too. Told you, she has an answer for everything. Did this happen to us because of Mako Island? Mako is a mystery. It's said the island is magic and that when the moon is full, creatures are born from its depths. Magic? So, how can we go back to how we were before? There must be a way to break the spell. It isn't a spell. This is the will of the universe. No one can alter the laws of nature. I must leave you now, but I shall see you again. <gasps> oh, the laws of nature? What the heck's she on about? There's nothing natural about turning into a mermaid. Well, you gotta trust her. She knows the answers to all the mysteries. <laughs> oh no! They found us again! 
What do we do? They're passing us! <laughs> okay, this way! <laughs> You're going to regret running into the Vandal Gang! Yeah. We've got no choice! We've got to confront them! We've got to show them we're just as tough as they are! Okay, well in that case, listen to me carefully. The trickiest one is Danny. Watch out for his tentacles. Burke, the hammerhead with his eyes on the side, can see everywhere. And he can make very sharp turns. But the worst is Murray, because he's as sneaky as he is me. Thanks for the advice, Bernie, but we've got a few tricks of our own up our sleeve. Hey, we haven't got all day here! <laughs> Shut up, Danny. I'll get, get, get up in the bush. You and me, Marshmallow. One thing's for sure, Cleo won't have any trouble acing her big interview now. Oh, my interview! I'd forgotten all about it! We can find a very rich ecosystem in the bay. Probably because of all the coral reefs, which attracts many different species. For example? There are spinner dolphins, manta rays, and um, there are even hammerhead sharks. Hammerhead sharks? I forgot we did have one of those around here a few years ago. Yeah. They might not be too bright, but with their eyes spaced on each side of their head, they can see all around them. And you wouldn't believe the sharp turns they can make. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're right, but how do you know all that? <laughs> I analyzed the water from the grotto, and it's just perfectly normal seawater. Maybe the manta ray was right. It's something magical. Uh, what the heck am I saying? I must be going crazy. I'll continue my research. The process may be reversible. I'll find a cure. Find a cure? To cure what? Our amazing mermaid powers? We're mermaids now. Whatever happens, no one can alter the laws of nature. Right, Cleo? Huh? Uh, yep. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, Mr. Lambert. Oh, you mean it? Absolutely, thanks. Goodbye. <sighs> I've been hired at the Oceanic Center! And all because of the Mermaids of Mako. <laughs> 